TPS Superintendent Dr. Robulus Durant says his administration has cooperated with the scrubbing investigation and will continue to do so. But former school board candidate Tina Henold says that is not enough. I noticed in their statement that they made yesterday from TPS that not one person took responsibility for what had happened. School board vice president Bob Vasquez was surprised to learn that the district was still being investigated. We've always been forthcoming. We were the ones who reported our methods uh, for counting students to the head department of education. And uh, we've always been uh, uh, transparent with everything that we've done. Henold ran unsuccessfully for a seat on the board of education last year. The scrubbing issue was one of the factors that motivated her to run. If you go to any board meeting, they are they are complaining and griping about how much money they don't get from the state. It doesn't seem reasonable to me to complain about that and then not be willing to accept responsibility for falsifying records. The state has not made a final ruling on whether TPS did anything wrong. Vasquez is confident the district will ultimately be cleared. Everybody can have faith in all of our staff, and that includes our teachers, uh, our support staff, and our administrators, because we uh, have always been doing the things that we thought we needed to do. State officials haven't outlined when any punishments might be handed down, but said employees connected to the practice of scrubbing could face suspension or have their license revoked. Hubert Wiggins, WNWO News.